This is the Knaus Boxstar Street XL. It's a six meter vehicle. You can drive this on a car license. And the big news of this literally is the height. Look at that. And that of course gives you acres of space inside, which I will show you in just a moment. Now this is based on the latest Series 8 chassis. So it's bang up to date up in the cab. I'll show you that as well in just a minute. You can recognize these because they have the little nostrils on the Series 8. If we head on around this side first of all then, this one's got the alloy wheels on which are very smart. That is the uh, cassette door for the toilet. You can plug in 240 volt power as we've got here of course. And as I say, you can get a sense of just how big this is from here. But it's not wide and it's not long, so it's quite manageable. What is interesting is around the back here, because this opens up. And what you've actually got then is access down underneath here. But actually, that is one of the beds in the vehicle. But what you can also do with this is you can remove all of this across here and that then makes that into a really big area if you wanted to put mountain bikes in there or other clobber if you're going paddle boarding that sort of thing that's a fantastic area for all of that and you've still got more sleeping which i'll show you so you don't necessarily need that bed especially if you're a couple okay let's head on around this side water filler is here and then because this side this is where we access so drop that one back there is a button here for the step and we'll head in this way first of all now both of these seats swivel round but this is this new series 8 dash so you've got the latest instrumentation in here the latest steering wheel which is a little bit smaller the latest entertainment equipment here that's a little head-up display this is quite nifty if we pull this little lever here we can lift that up that one then pops out like that you can lift that up and the reason for that is if you wanted to put your phone in there or a clipboard or an ipad or whatever you want there you go that just sits in there like that that's quite nifty let's pop that one away there we go the other thing you've got in here is things like all of these have got blinds that come across that across here they're out of the door like this and so forth it's an automatic on this one as well which is unusual it's a nine speed automatic i think i'm right in saying it's 140 horsepower anyway let's carry on back a little bit further because this is quite a fascinating machine what is interesting is the fact that of course you've got seat belts on these seats but also that you can see there are two seat belts here so you can take four people while you're traveling and you can sleep four people. In fact, you can sleep five people because this table will drop down. The idea of this is, of course, you can swivel these seats around, you can sit around here and dine. But with that drop down and that one swiveled around, you have got a single bed here. And while we're talking about beds, this is where we need to now look up because look at the height in here. And what they've done with this is they've created another completely separate sleeping area. So if we pull this one, we lift it and then pull it backwards really easy to use and that comes down that track to there and now you can see what an absolute massive space that is up on top and you can still get down and under it it limits the headroom just slightly i'm six foot two and i just got to sort of stoop very very slightly so you could leave that in play if you wanted to and have a permanently made up bed up there that's remarkable now there's a net in here as well so that you can lift that up and make that a bit more secure and of course this is for a ladder so you can get up there because obviously it would be a bit of a struggle otherwise wouldn't it let's slide that one back up so that just drops back into place like that now if we come around to this side we've got the kitchen over here really big storage drawers in here so this pulls out like that and you've got the um, cutlery drawer just there of course and then down here as well masses of space and these are all soft clothes as well which is nice there's a two burner hob that's underneath this one and then your sink of course is next to it like so there's also a pretty decent fridge and that's there with a freezer compartment and then along here that is more storage controls are here so vehicle controls heater controls lighting controls that one there is a plug socket and that one there is um, just a 12 volt socket lighting up underneath as well 
And then finally, if we head back, of course, this is the inside where those rear doors were, giving you another bed across here. This is how you sleep five. You've got the two on the overhead that slides out. You've got the one on the converting dinette. And then these two here. What's interesting is that these sections here will come right out so that you can have this as a walkthrough. If you're not using the bed, it makes this whole vehicle, you can literally come right through, get to your bits and pieces, all that kind of thing. So that's a nice touch. And then a load more storage up here. And then you've got reading lights as well, as you can see. And that's those rear doors. There's some quite neat lighting as well, a little tucked away up inside here and up inside here and so forth. There's an opening skylight up there. And the only thing we haven't looked at then is the bathroom that's in here and again a pretty decent size the shower actually pulls out from the tap like that and there's a hook for that up on the ceiling and then there's also a shower curtain that pulls around so you can don't get all the door wet and everything else and that drains of course down through there there we go that i think is about that but that roof system that is intriguing isn't it i mean it just gives you so much more space quite remarkable there we go i'm going to take a seat over here i'm going to say thank you to nickwell motorhomes they've organized this tour i'll put a link to those guys in description and a huge thanks to you of course for watching we will catch you on another one of these very soon take care Bye bye <laughs>